All right, so the next thing we're going to hook up is this battery monitor. I went ahead and hooked it up. It's pretty easy. I just want to make sure it was going to work before I started shooting a video on it. It's a pretty easy setup. It comes with the battery monitor itself, a control cable that runs from the battery monitor to the shunt. And then you got that red cable that hooks below the shunt. All right, and you need a small screwdriver, and it doesn't matter which one you hook it to, and it's going to run to the positive cable. All right, and then what you want to do, if you look at the shunt, you got a B minus on one side and a P minus on the other. So you're going to run from the negative battery terminal to the B minus. Alright, so basically from our old setup, we took off the uh, negative terminal or the negative cable of the inverter, okay, and we plugged this one in. Then we just took that from the inverter and plugged it into the P minus side. Alright, then you plugged in your your control cable and that was it you got power and a battery monitor now there's a lot to this battery monitor so I'm not gonna even try to cover it in this video um, but we will definitely have some more videos to discuss uh, the different things that it can monitor and how well this system works alright thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.